Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, and I wanted to bring to you a, a special um, arrival, if you will. Uh, we got a 2022 Renegade Verona 40 VBH. VBH being a Verona bunkhouse. So um, for those of you out there that might be interested in looking for a bunkhouse, uh, we do have one here. Um, and this is uh, to start out with, we're, we're in stock number 5N 210852. Um, one of the first things I wanted to start out with, a lot of y'all have requested, you know, starting from the interior and with the slides in. So I figure I'd show you that. So let me, um, let me just show you that this slide is in, the rear slide is in. So this is how it is when you're in travel. I'm going to walk to the back and just kind of show you how much room I've got. So. If I need to access the bathroom, yeah, it's a little tight here, but I can open this door here and get right into my, to my mid bath there. This is just a mid bath floor plan. Um, but yeah, this is as far as you can get without having to climb over the bed. Um, I am paired up to the, uh, to the unit with the app. So I wanted to show you just, you know, I don't have to run it from the front. I can run it from my, from my mobile device here. So I'm going to run this rear slide out. So it gives me a little bit more room. So this came with the, um, uh, with, with the bunk room. It also came with the bunk closet insert. They call it, um, the closet insert being, we've got doors on my bunk beds. So I'm going to open these up here show you the bunks you got 250 pound max weight on each on the on the bunk bed and then of course you've got some storage down below here as we pull out drawers underneath the bunks and then in in each bunk you do have electrical outlet as well as a couple of USB ports so you'll have one for the bottom bunk and the top and if you get a shot over here these do have the TVs in each bunk bed. And then your your all your shades throughout the coach are the MCD day and night MCD roller shades. Um, so that's very easy to operate. Then you have these little bunk lights in there too. We'll just tap with a button that turns each one of those on. It's got a nice big bright LED light in each bunk. Something else I wanted to show, Jody, if you want to back up a little bit. Um, these have, so if, if, you, if you're not interested in bunks, but you want like extra storage, I wanted to show you something here. So I'm gonna pull this out. And if you notice, we've got a hanging rod up here. You can see that from there, but this piece right here lifts up. And if you notice, I can move it towards me. So I can completely remove this and that turns this, this uh, bunk bed set up into a closet. And to get it back, it's gotta lift the bottom, bring it back down, put the cushion back on there, but just showing you how it's kind of universal for either a closet or bunk bed setup. Slide this back in there. And we're back to bunk beds. And then of course, uh, I didn't show you this, but you do have these little privacy shades. So these do go all the way across um, on both the top and the bottom bunk. And we'll come around to the back here. So in the master bedroom, you've got some good storage here. Um, it does have the hanging rod here. This piece comes out. If you've got longer garments, you can remove that and have that for nice hanging storage. You got a Samsung LED television in the bedroom. You've got a Blu-ray player down below. We've got um, your uh, cable hookups and HDMI for satellite. And then more storage down below. Some extra remotes. And on the drawers, so when I'm opening these drawers, you notice you've got full extension drawer glides. And when they shut, you can see how they catch. So they got the soft close. 
all your drawers. And on the bed, you've got a king size bed. You also have underneath the bed is going to be where your 150 gallons. You got 275 tanks here. You got 150 gallons of fresh water. Your water pump, some low point drain valves are all going to be mounted underneath here. If you're working under here, it's a little rod that's mounted here. Just mounts right here so you can so it holds it up. So I can work under the bed here. Okay, and then on both sides of the bed, you're gonna have some shelving up above for your phone, your purse, your wallet, your keys, anything you smaller items you want to keep out of the way. Plus, you've got USB and 110 outlets in both of those areas. And then over here, you do have USB and 110 for this area. You got a little small drawer. Got a cabinet door there for some more storage. That goes pretty deep back in there, about as deep as that ledge is. And up above here, we've got some generator controls, um, some reading lights, water pump, uh, the ceiling, the bath lighting, and also you have an on, uh, an all lights on and an all lights off button right above your head here. A nice feature that Renegade does. Your cabinets overhead, if you notice as I'm opening these, how they stay up, they're not creeping down. You got some nice heavy duty hardware that Renegade uses on all their cabinet doors. And again, you got more MCD roller shades in the back there. Let me sneak around here to the stackable washer and dryer. So this did get optioned with Splendid stackable washer and dryer. I wanted to point this out. So this is a this is a sliding pocket door instead of a flimsy curtain or a flimsy door for that matter. This is a nice heavy duty door. You see the little snap there that keeps this tight when you're on in travel. You see how nice and solid this door is. So it's got a lock and an unlock on both sides of the door. And then down, down below here is no wasted space. There's another here's a little pull-out drawer here. And you got another heavy-duty door here. So we got another, another latch. So this is going to close off the bunk room area, if you will. Latch that back. And then Here's the main bathroom. So in the main bath, I always like to give a kind of an example how large the showers are. So I'm six foot two. I've got plenty of headroom. You've got an adjustable head on your shower. Plenty of headroom here in the shower, elbow room. And then overhead here we've got medicine cabinet, more storage over to the side here, got to get more storage overhead for your toiletry items. You do have a macerator flushing toilet, you can see the operations over here. This is also porcelain. Your countertops throughout are all Corian, even your sink, it's all the same material. It makes cleanup easier to get, get to and take care of. Sneak by you here. Now let's go back up front here. I'm going to run the this slide out now. Let's go in here. Run the front slide out. So I'm I'm holding this down. Oop! Just unpaired. Sorry. Just lost connection, but that's all right. Let's repair it there. So as I'm holding this down, um, I'll just kind of talk about it. So the app is called the Vega Touch Mira. Um, you can operate your uh, 
your slides, your awnings, your lights. You can turn your generator on and off. Um, you can also um, turn your inverter on and off, your awning, the shade overhead. So it's got a lot of nice features that are in the fi Firefly panel that are accessible in your mobile device. Just want to share that with you. Okay, so we've got both slides out. Gives you tons of room in here. Lots of counter space. Um, we'll start over here in the booth dinette. So the booth dinette does break down and makes into a bed. Um, because it's a bunkhouse unit, for those of you that are wanting to know how many seat belts this unit comes with, I, I thought I'd leave those out. So it comes with two seat belts here. You got three seat belts in the sofa. And then of course you have your driver and your passenger seat belts. And then, um, so this makes into a bed. Um, the sofa makes into a bed as well. It's about a queen size bed and it's gonna be on the cushions. Uh, in the kitchen area here, we've got an all electric refrigerator. And I like the way that Renegade does the, these locks. So when you're going down the road, you know, those are nice. Those are nice and tight. They're not going to go. You've got a lock here that keeps it latched and a lock there. Flip that down, flip that down, and a nice big residential refrigerator. You got an ice maker down below. Overhead storage. Some adjustable shelf, pantry storage, and then you have some nice full extension drawer glide pantry storage here. Even your pantry drawers are all soft close, if you notice. And the house fuses and breakers are going to be located here. So you do have couple of locations for like your inverter these are all your breakers that are anything that's that's wired to the inverter is labeled in here and down below here we've got your main like your air conditioners your washer dryer range so everything's labeled for you and then your fuses are going to be behind this one here you got three decent sized drawers here for storage there's all your fun remotes too for the front. It comes with some touch-up paint. You've got a filter for the water, for the water filter. And this is gonna be for I think, removing the uh, lugs, the decorative lugs on the wheels. And here we've got, underneath here we have induction cooktop. Convection microwave oven. Overhead you have some adjustable shelving. This does have the in-motion um, uh, satellite system on it. So it, it, that's one of the options that this one did come with. Just wanna double check that that's what this here is. And then you have a Blu-ray player. You have your standard over the air antenna. And then you also have the WineGuard Connect 2.0 Wi-Fi 4G. LTE range, so that's what, it's got the Wi-Fi system on board as well. Got some good storage here. And again, it's all Corian. So this is gonna be all Corian countertops. Nice single sink, decent size. Adjustable head there for your sink. And then up front here, I've got the, uh, I've got this seat turned around um, and the driver's seat does swivel around as well. Uh, but I was gonna, sh I'm gonna show you a few things here in just a bit, but a uh, few years back, Renegade had uh, introduced the bunk over cab as an option with, which this one did get. And it has this nice big window overhead too. So again, that's all built into the uh, the Firefly system, which you can operate from your mobile device, but you can run that shade. The window shade will extend and re 
track just using your mobile device. And then you got a little storage over here for the for the bunk over area. You've got USB ports, electrical outlets. Um, if you don't want to use your phone to run the shades, you can run the shade from here. Ceiling lights on and off and dim accent lights. And then this pulls forward like so to make this a big queen size over it, uh, bed. And then you got the ladder to get up on top. Slide it forward. It makes it easier to get in and out in the, ca the captain's chairs. Um, since we're up here in the cab, talking about the cab, we're in a Freightliner M2106. Um, Renegade on the Verona offers the safety assurance package, we'll call it. It has collision avoidance protection package, adaptive cruise, um, and let's see, uh, I believe that's right, yeah. So you've got, this will help with your adaptive cruise. It also will find your lane when you get, I think, up to speeds of 20 miles per hour or faster. And so if you're drifting out of your lane, it's going to alert you and it just make it, it'll buzz you in one of the speakers is what it does. I'll turn this on and you'll hear the buzz as it gets boot, as it boots up here. gonna do it. I knew it. I knew it was eventually gonna go. So I'm gonna turn that on. Um, so we're in an M2106. It's 360 horsepower Cummins diesel engine, 8.9 liter, tows up to 20,000 pounds. Um, it's got a six six speed Allison 3200 series. Um, let's see here. You have the Garmin removable an attachable um, backup camera, side view cameras, GPS. Um, it does a lot of other features too that in that Garmin uh, radio. You also have, uh, this, this is going to be for your um, adaptive cruise control. Um, so this, right now it's blue. It does change colors. If you're getting approaching a car, it'll, it'll start changing colors. I believe it goes to like a, an orange if you're traveling too close into a red if you're really, really too close and it will buzz you. Um, you have camera control here for the trailer or the truck. If you're wanting to, if, if you have a trailer that has a camera on it, you can flip that to the trailer view so you can actually view the camera on it. <clears throat> and then you do have an optional extra button here if you want to add anything to it tire pressure monitoring system is going to be this area here um, this is your engine brake and the middle is off up is high down is low um, actually no I'll take that back low medium and high and this turns it on and off <clears throat> and then so this is the, you know, the stereo system these are all the different features here you can go to your camera view see your backup camera uh, that's right now it's on the left you but if I go to my turn my blinker on I want to shift lanes it's going to show my right view if I want to just choose the rear view I can just click here and it's going to show me the rear some nice features there back out of that um, lock and unlock mirror heat window controls um, you got an adjustable tilt telescoping steering wheel cruise control it's all on the left side here And in these seats, I mentioned they're air ride. If I can find my controls for it. Uh, here it is. If I want to lower this down, it's got a little switch with the, with the engine running that it's supplying some air so I can raise and lower the seats. Both captain's seats have the air ride in them. All right. Let's go outside and check out some of the exterior features on it. So 
So one of the advantages of a Super C motorhome, I've talked about in some previous videos, is going to be the capability of getting in and out of your driver and passenger door. You're not relying on one entrance exit door. You have the main one here, plus you can get in and out here. Um, for safety reasons, you got a lot more in front of you. Um, it's a nice feature on a Super C motorhome. If you work on your own coaches, you do your own oil changes or anything like that, easy access to the engine components. You don't have a radiator or anything blocking you to access all this. You can see down below here we've got your windshield wiper fluid, transmission coolant, air filter. And then on this side you've, you do have your power steering fluid, um, reservoir, fuel filter, so everything's very easy to access. You'll notice when I close this, it's got the soft close on it. Um, you've got these breakaways, not that you ever want to get in an accident, but this piece, this is one piece here, so it's not one full bumper. If you were ever have to just replace something like just this, this side or the other, uh, very, you're not having to replace the whole thing. You'll notice it has a dressed up Renegade grill on the front. So this one did come with the Caliber 9 bright finish grill package. Plus if you come around to the side here, Jody, we've got the American Racing Wheels as another option. The exterior of this one's called Ingot. With the Ingot, with the American Racing Wheels, really gives it a nice sharp look. Um, fuel. You've got 100 gallons of fuel, fillable on both sides. You got a 50 gallon on this side, 50 gallon on the other side. Your depth is here. Depth's going to be six gallons. I'm going to run this in, so we can get to the compartments below. Make it a little easier. If you're the owner of this RV and you need to get to your compartments below, that's kind of a nice feature too, so you don't have to go all the way back inside, just grab your mobile device and run the slides in. All right, so let's open up some of these doors here. In the first compartment here, um, so this did come with the lithium battery upgrade, so you got three lithium batteries, plus you've got your two cranking batteries here. And actually, down and up in the back, you can see a little black on the, the copper head. That's, a, that's an air compressor outlet. So you do have a, this comes with a 50 foot hose for your air compressor. If you want to tap into the air on the coach, you can do that. And then you, there's a little wattage system here. It's showing you 11.37 volts uh, from the energy system. This does come with a 3000 watt, or excuse me, 3200 watt um, inverter. And then your inverter's up here. This has three 175 watt solar panels. That's the control module in the back. Aqua Hot, I didn't talk about this on the inside, so there's no propane on this coach. So it has an Aqua Hot 250D system. That's a diesel burner that gives, when you're running the burner, that gives you continuous hot water. It also heats your coach. Um, and it has an electric element in it as well. So if you are plugged in to 30, 50 amp service, you can use the electric element to provide heat as well. However, the diesel will heat the best. If you notice as I'm closing these doors too, how nice and solid they are. We've got the, the, the slam latch baggage doors that nice, stay nice and tight when you close them. Now we're at the holding tanks. So we've got a 75 gallon gray water and a 75 gallon black water tank. They're insulated, they're heated, so figure if you're doing any kind of winter camping and you're worried about any freezing, no problem. Make sure you're running that aqua hot and you've got the thermostat set to furnace mode on the interior that keeps everything heated. And plus you have heat, heat pads on these holding tanks.
dump station. So we've got a retractable water. So I pull this out when I want to hook up the city water and I'm going to push this button here when I want to reel it back in. This is just a place to store your sewage hose. Um, this is where your water filter goes. I showed you earlier. This goes in here. It's the reservoir for it. These are your, your tank gate valves. You notice everything's enclosed. So with this closed, it keeps everything insulated and heated. Sewer flush, cable hookups, um, tank fill. Everything's labeled there. All right, now we're down at the generator. We've got an 8,000 watt coming zone in diesel generator. That'll run everything on the coach. We've got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps. We've got a retractable. You walk it out to plug it in. Actually, you run it out the bottom here first. Show you how this works here. If I run this down the bottom, and I just want to walk it out to get to my pedestal to plug it in, it makes life easier and life even easier when it's cold out and this thing's stiff as a board. You do have a power rewind, power reel. And your transfer switch is located in here. Um, they do come with the little dog, uh, 50 to 30 dog bone converter. You got a one piece molded fiberglass cap on the rear. Rear camera, um, 20,000 pound hitch, seven way plug for brake controller. You got a, this Voyager here. I talked about a, a camera on the trailer. That's where the, the plug would go for the audio video. I'm gonna leave this slide out because we only have a few doors, but right here we've got some good storage. Keep coming down. You can see some more storage that goes under the rail. not lacking storage if you notice uh, you know it's not a class a so without being a class a in the back you're gaining all the storage here as well as in the rear here there's the 50 foot air compressor the uh, air hose and then these are your slide locks um, if you're going to be on driving on some Diff through different states, it may have some more rough roads that you're going to be traveling on. Probably a good idea to go ahead and put those in place. Um, they go on the inside and they brace from the inner wall to the to the slide, uh, kind of the where the balance is, if you will. Just keeps it in, nice and tight if you're on any kind of rough terrain roads. And then we have outside entertainment. Sound bar. And more storage. So, I think I hit on most of this coach. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Again, my name's Grant Russell. You can reach me best on my cell phone at 720 539 four seven one one you can text me there too or uh, feel free to email me at grussell at transwest.com hope everybody has a great weekend we'll see you next time